Dividend stocks are some of the most vital components of the stock market. For those who don't know, dividend stocks are basically companies that pay out a portion of their earnings to shareholders. And although dividend stocks are known for the regularity of their dividend payments, in difficult economic times, the dividend may be cut to preserve cash. You also need to keep in mind that not all dividend stocks are smart investments. You should do your research before investing in dividend stocks. I believe that everybody knows that we are fanatics of dividend investing here at Glory Investing Show, so in our today's video, I'm going to tell you about the top 5 dividend stocks you should invest in in 2021. If you love dividend investing videos, you should check out our playlist about how to make $1,000 of dividend income per month. Now, before we go any further, make sure to subscribe to Glory Investing Show and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any updates. Now, grab a cold drink, sit down, and let's get into this. First of all, we have Broadcom Incorporated, which is a semiconductor and enterprise software maker that has grown dividends for 10 years in a row. The company offers an annual dividend of $14.4 per share, and the price of this stock at the moment of making this video was $481.93. According to Yahoo Finance's recommendation rating, it is a buy. Moreover, a report published by Investors.com on July 19th of this year states, AVGO stock delivered a 186% compound stock return over the past five years versus 95% for the S&P 500 as tracked by SPDR S&P 500 ETF. The company's revenue was $4.01 billion in 2020 and the net income was $2.96 billion. It was the year 2010 when this company started paying dividends and the payout increased each quarter until 2016. You also need to know the size of these increases. A report published by The Motley Fool on July 8th of this year suggests that the last increase amounted to 11%. The report states, in the fiscal second quarter of 2021, the dividend cost the company just under $1.5 billion. The dividend claimed about 43% of its $3.4 billion in free cash flow during that quarter. That ratio came to about 47% in fiscal 2020, meaning it has kept its payout sustainable relative to free cash under challenging solutions. Next on our list is LAM Research Corporation, LRCX, which is an American corporation that engages in the design, manufacture, marketing, and service of semiconductor processing equipment using the fabrication of integrated circuits. The shares of this company rose 37.8% during the first half of this year. According to a report published by Yahoo Finance on April 25th of this year, LAM Research released its fiscal third quarter earnings results on April 21st, which included earnings per share of $7.49, beating analyst expectations handsomely. Over the last 12 months, LAM Research shares have appreciated 138% and consistent earnings beats were one of the main drivers of the stock price. Considering the expected increase in demand for high-end chips along with the rollout of 5G technology, LAM Research can be expected to deliver strong earnings in the next couple of years as well. At the moment of making this video, the price of LAM Research shares was $618.88 and the annual dividend per share was $5.2. Moreover, Yahoo Finance's recommendation rating says it's a buy. Stocks only go up. Now we're going to be talking about a Canadian-American multinational fast food holding company, which was formed back in the year 2014. The revenue of this company in 2020 was $4.97 billion and the operating income was $1.864 billion. Moreover, the net income was $486 million and honestly, one of the major reasons why you should invest in QSR shares is that it has a well-diversified portfolio of restaurants that cater to different tastes and markets. And although you can buy it as a growth stock, it also offers investors a handsome quarterly dividend that works out to a yield of 3.17%. If you're looking for long-term growth, investing in restaurants brand is an excellent option. And let's not forget the company's aggressive stance towards expansion. According to a report published by The Motley Fool on May 24th of this year, under the current management, Tim Hortons has successfully branched out to the United Kingdom, Mexico, Spain, the Philippines, and China. This represents a significant improvement over the pre-RBI approach of opening one-off locations that failed to catch on. At the moment of making this video, the price of QSR shares was $67.77 and the annual dividend is $2.12 per share. 
This is an American retail company that specializes in home improvement. The company is headquartered in Mooresville, North Carolina, and reports suggest that Lowe's and its related businesses currently operate more than 2,100 home improvement and hardware stores in North America. It is the second largest hardware chain in the U.S. ahead of Menards. Moreover, it is also the second largest hardware chain in the world. It currently has a market cap of $137.2 billion, and it has delivered a 19.20 return since the beginning of this year. A report published by Investors.com on February 24th of this year states, On February 24th, Lowe's reported quarter 4 EPS of $1.33, beating analyst views for $1.20. Sales jumped 27% to $20.3 billion, above expectations for $19.33 billion. Same-store sales surged 28% while U.S. comps grew 28.6%. Lowe stated in its earnings report for the fourth quarter of this year that COVID-related costs to support hourly frontline workers totaled more than $100 million in the fourth quarter and more than $900 million for fiscal 2020. At the moment of making this video, the price of Lowe's shares was $193.02 and the annual dividend is $3.20 per share. You might also want to note that Yahoo Finance's recommendation rating for this stock is 1.8 which means it is a buy. Moreover, investing in Lowe's companies is a smart investment because the home improvement business itself is growing. Data from Statista shows that the home improvement market generated $450 billion in sales in the United States last year. Reports suggest that it is expected to grow to $510 billion by the year 2024. Well, that's a compound annual growth rate of 3.2%, and according to a report published by The Motley Fool on June 2nd of this year, Lowe's over the last decade has grown revenue at a compound annual rate of 6.3%. Furthermore, it is confident it can gain market share in 2021, as it did in its first quarter. Stocks only go up. Lastly, we have Domino's Pizza, which is an American multinational pizza restaurant chain. It was founded back in 1960 and it's headquartered at the Domino's Farms Office Park in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The price of DPZ shares at the moment of making this video was $528.68 and the annual dividend is $3.76 per share. You might also want to note that the recommendation rating for this stock is 2.3 which means it is a buy. On July 22nd of this year, it was reported that the company reported strong earnings and announced a $1 billion share buyback. The company reported a second quarter profit of $3.12 per share, which represents a 4% increase from the year-ago quarter. It also reported its fifth straight quarter of double-digit revenue growth, with revenue up 12% to $1.03 billion. According to a report published by Investors.com on July 22nd of this year, in the US same-store sales increased 3.4%, a strong number due to a tough comparison to the year-ago quarter, then pizza demand was booming during the pandemic. Outside the US, same-store jumped 13.9%. Just ahead of earnings, Domino's declared a quarterly dividend of $0.94, cents, payable on September 30th to shareholders of record September 15th. DPZ has been one of the best-performing stocks of the last decade and it has gained more than 1,600%. You might also want to know that the company has reported 40 consecutive quarters of same-store sales growth in the United States and 109 consecutive quarters internationally. If you guys want to see more videos where we analyze dividend stocks and give you a new idea how to refresh your dividend income portfolio, please make sure to smash that like button, it helps us a lot to reach new people. If you still didn't grab your free stocks from Robinhood, you should definitely do that. Lastly, if you have not already subscribed to Glory Investing Show, subscribe to it and press that bell icon so you will be notified each time we upload an interesting video on this channel. And while you're here, click to watch one of these four videos that are appearing on your screen. We'll see you there. Take care and stay tuned.